them no you don't need to change nothing because somebody else don't like you because they don't like you for being you that is on them that sounds like a personal problem he said he wants to get married <laughs> so and I'm, I'm 27 right now and i don't look 27. i know i don't look 27 but <laughs> you girl is 27 you know everybody not gonna like you and that's fine just find the people that do and appreciate the people that do like you for who you are it's But of course, it got caught on everything, and they eventually fell off. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was the placement. Maybe I should have put it on more of my pinky, because my index finger is always close to my face and hair. So it just got caught on everything in my clothes. So maybe I should have. Maybe at next time, if I do do jewelry on my nails, it'll be on the pinky finger, further away from like my face and everything like you know when I touch my face my pinky is always further away from my face so yeah just a heads up but um that was, it was still a very cute set but I can't be out here like that I need my nails done and hopefully she hopefully my girl Miss Tiffany can do it today if not hopefully she can get me tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow but um yeah I'm not really trying to be walking around out here like this too much longer i was trying to hold out because i'm trying to save christmas and stuff like that but i cannot cannot i mean i, I still have money saved for my gifts and stuff like that. but just so i'm at the nail shop hopefully miss tiffany can get me in today if not maybe tomorrow Too crazy right now. Like, <coughs> low key, I have my last two nail sets in my head that I want to do. Like, I already have the designs picked out. So, if everything goes as planned, I have my two, my last 
two nail sets for 2021. And I I want to do like a whole, a little slideshow of all of my sets throughout the year. And I want to start with my first set of before this year, of last year. Because at first, like, y'all, like, at first, I was being, like, super, super, the thing, I was being super, super cheap about my nails, like, trying to go to the cheapest nail spot, and I, and, like, you know, you pay for what you get, so my nails represented what I was getting, cheap work, cheap results, so, like, ever, so when 2021 came, I told myself, I always want my nails done, and I'm, I want to pay, you know, a decent amount for what I want. And ever since then, like, like I said, things have just been up. And, yeah, so I want to show a, a slide of my nails throughout the months and, like, my sets. So, and y'all comment below and let me know which one was y'all favorite. So, yeah. I, don't, I, I, I went, so this year, I, I had two nail takes. I think I went to one other person in between but yeah so December ninth, December 2019 I went to this rinky dink nail shop and then December 2021 I went to this nice nail shop that was like a spa and I did I stayed there for months went there consistently and then when I moved when we moved over here when y'all seen and our last video was when we moved. If y'all watch it, girl, pay attention when we move. Uh, yeah, uh, we, um, I tried one nail shop, didn't really like them, and then I tried this one, and I've been coming here ever since. And that's why I remember going to Tiffany's, and I've been here for months. So, yeah. So, like I said, when I, you know, when I find somebody good to do my nails, my lashes, my hair, like, I've been going to the same. Africans to do my hair, uh, Grace African Braiders in um, Dallas, Texas. Like, I've been going to them for months to do my hair. So, like, when I find good, consistently good, good, consistent people, like, these people of service have been consistent. Like, the, the quality, everything, the service is has been top. So, like, I make sure I keep coming back and I want to support these people. So, Anyway, let me go in here because I'll be rent, 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 rent all day. But, um, yeah, I'm at the nail shop right now. I'm going to see if Miss Tiffany can fix your girl up. And, ooh, maybe I need my eyebrows done, but I ain't going to do all that today. I'm really, like, trying to just do the bare minimum this month because I want to go all out for everybody else this month, not myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this month is month of giving, giving to other people. So less about me, more about other people this month. But still gotta make sure I can't look out here busted, you know. Anyway, let me go in here, y'all. Okay, guys. So Miss Tiffany not here. Her um her little baby isn't feeling well today, so I made an appointment to come see her in the morning. So I will take y'all with me to my appointment tomorrow, and um. Yeah, we're going to get these babies together. And I guess right now, I'll go get me some sushi since Taco Bell freaking forgot my um, tacos. And I'm hungry. So, and to kill some time because they don't get off till 6, 7 o'clock. And I have to be super, super quiet because he works from home. Can't disturb him. So that's what I'm gonna do to kill some time, but I don't have a mask. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I think we still have to wear a mask to go in there. But we're gonna see, so let me go see. Alright, babes. I decided to do my makeup since I couldn't get my nails done today. Um about to finish full clothes as y'all can see i'm in the process of folding clothes right now so i'm about to fold clothes and i'm gonna end the vlog right here for today and like i said i'm gonna take you guys with me tomorrow 
to do my nails and it took me but uh i just want to get on here and show y'all this look i did using my um i used my clear my uniclear lip gloss from nova magic these are my nova magic lashes bougie and i use my nova magic brow pencil uh with the micro uh brush tip if you can y'all make sure that y'all go shop my link to shop these items if you uh like this look again like i said these are my lashes on my website lip gloss on my website brow pencil is from my website okay now like i said i'm gonna finish all these clothes and finish clean up my house and i will see y'all tomorrow good morning babes it is the next day it is officially december happy limitless we made it to december y'all wow i can't wait to hear it's literally over like Happy Vlogmas, everyone. I can't wait to see everyone's Christmas intros. I can't wait to see everyone's Christmas trees if they haven't put them up yet. I'm just excited for this time. I love the Christmas tree. Ooh, it's in this car. Slow, slow, ch 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 today. But as y'all know, yesterday, I couldn't get my nails done because Miss Tiffany wasn't in. So I text her, and she told me to come in and, um, in the morning. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm put some lotion on my face. I just washed my face, and my face is dry. <sighs> Hold on. Let me sit y'all right there real quick. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, on my way to the nail shop, like I said, it is officially December 1st, 2021. We are officially entering in Vlogmas. If y'all already seen, I already uploaded two videos. So those are last month. Now we're up to date. So, yeah, we're going to get our nails done. Probably going to get my eyebrows waxed. I mean, they are right, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. And then um, I picked up a shift today at work because we got me some extra queens. Because I got a wedding coming up. I got a trip coming up. So, that is my vlog back, too. And, um... I'm gonna try to vlog like us looking at the venues and stuff like that to put on our family channel so y'all can see that. Um, but yeah, so uh, we got that coming up, got a wedding coming up, got Christmas coming up, got a trip coming up. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be out of work for a few days, almost a week. So, I need to stack, 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 make sure everything is taken care of because i like to make sure everything is taken care of at home before i even go anywhere so make sure everything is taken care of make sure like when i come home like you know light still on why am i still working you know everything like that so i just really want to make sure we good we straight for this month well for next well for i just want to make sure we good i just want to make sure we get it so yeah, trying to prepare for that. Um, then, like I said, I gotta make sure my hair, my nails, my lashes, and all of that just together. My wardrobe. I already got a few outfits for the trip. I'm probably gonna do um, a clothing haul on that of like my trip wardrobe, like some fits I'm gonna be wearing when I'm packing in my. Um, like I'm gonna probably do like a packing vlog um, before we go to Vegas. Um, yeah so yeah that's where our wedding is gonna be at in vegas we have a date august 6th we already well i already talked to um two venues 
so far. I need to call the other one because I still have not gotten in touch with the third one yet. And then um, my wedding planner, who is my friend Sierra, uh, I'm gonna tag her profile so y'all can go and check her out because she's an amazing event planner, wedding planner, anything you need, planner, birthday planner, or like whatever you need, she can do it for you. She's so detailed, so professional, so on point with it. So yeah, I love her. But um, anyway. She's supposed to be sending me a few more venues um, to look at. So, you know, like I said, we have appointments to go see two of them when we arrive in Vegas. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to vlog those and put them on our channel. So, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on, like, anything dealing with our wedding. Like, how we, the process of us planning our wedding, like, the steps that we took and all that stuff like that. I'm going to try to, like vlog everything for you guys so um if y'all want to see like i said make sure y'all check that out on our family channel i don't want to like i said i don't want to throw like a couple's channel or anything like that because like you know we're gonna get married he said he wants to get married <laughs> so you know we uh yeah we we a family so that's our family channel kids and blah 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 we want to do things on that channel we want to share the things on that channel and this is my personal channel this is about me this is about Tara Jache so that's why I have my own channel and I just of course you know we have things that we do together so that's what that is that's all we have that that's why I have two we have two channels and yeah but um anyway let me head to the next shot because Miss Tiffany is waiting on me. I'm already late. But uh, I just wanted to update you guys on, like, you know, the process of, like, I guess wedding planning and stuff like that. I've already asked two people to be at my wedding, which is my best friend. Y'all, I don't even know. Y'all, let me tell y'all. So, I guess I don't know enough married people. I haven't been to enough weddings in my lifetime because I don't know the terminology for weddings like i mean i just know great bridesmaids and a maid of honor i didn't know there was a matron of honor so i guess a matron of honor is the thing i guess the, what the maid of honor i don't freaking know that because like i said i don't know the terminology or stuff but i guess the matron of honor is and the maid of honor is the same thing but the matron is married so yeah i didn't know that was a thing but yeah so i asked my best friend to be my matron of honor did not knowing that I, well i said maid of honor but i didn't know that because she's married she would be a matron so i don't know but your girl only plan on getting married one time so hey i'm learning i didn't know um I was new to me. I'm just like, I, I, I guess I haven't been to enough weddings, but I've never seen a matron of honor. I guess uh, I don't know enough people that's married to be a matron of honor, or I've never been in enough been to enough weddings to see somebody get married and then have other married people in their wedding. I don't know. But I am excited because, I mean, the people that I'm asking, three of the ladies are married. My matron of honor is married. My sister-in-law, Kia, she's married. And then I'm asking my cousin to be in the wedding and she's married. So that's exciting. And I'm getting married. So that's that makes me happy that, you know, I have ladies that are already married and my age, you know, in the wedding. So that makes me happy. And I kind of want to circle around these type of women all the time because, you know, we're all young. We're all going to all gonna be wise new semi newly wives pretty much well i mean my matron of honor my best friend she's been married for five years so she's she's og like five years in if you og now but um and i commend her on that you know being a young married couple because yeah everybody strives for that hopefully i feel like nothing is wrong with getting married young i would have loved to get gotten married earlier on you know even though i am not mad at the time because right now i feel like we are ready right now we are ready but i honestly wish we were ready earlier on you know like i said i'm, I'm 27 right now i don't look 27. 
I don't know, we look 27, but <laughs> you girl is 27. I'm 27, so I'm trying to get stuff off the table. Like, I want to get kids off the table. I want to get being a homeowner off the table. I want to get traveling off the table. Like, I want to start getting stuff off the table. So, yeah, that's like what I'm trying to do. Trying to get these things off my list, you know. I guess if, if you will, bucket list like had the kids, went out the country, went to this place, went to put that place, got married, went to college, you know, started the business. Trying to get, trying to check check these things off, and I'm not to say that it has to be a rush, but um, I just feel like when you want to live a life of intentions and you intentionally want to do things, you got to get the moving on certain stuff. Not to say that you got to rush, but always moving with intention, like trying to get to that next point, you know? And I feel like I didn't real, I wasn't move, I wasn't living my life with intention. I was just going with the flow. And I mean, going with the flow is okay, but I feel like having accountability and awareness of where your flow is taking you is so important. Because you don't want to just flow into the wrong directions. You don't want to just flow into some mishaps and some losses. You know? You want to prevent that as much as you can. So accountability and awareness is super important if you're not going to be on, you know, a tight knit fix type of structure or schedule. But um, like I said, y'all, I will sit here and rant to y'all all freaking day. Because, yeah. Like, when I'm by myself, I could just talk. Like, when I have to be around other people, like, I don't know, I'm just so much. But, um, anyway, you girl only have on my No Magic Book Y'all so make sure y'all shout out with the link in my description box. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to see Miss Tiffany because, like I said, I'm already late. And she only supposed to come see me, and I appreciate that. So let me go.
is on point. Super cute. Love it. The closer that I get to French tip. But um now now I'm gonna go to Starbucks and see if they have the sugar plum Danish that I've been craving, that I've been wanting to try. Yeah, I've been wanting to try the sugar plum Danish and they never had it. Um, we'll see if they have it today. If they don't, I'm gonna be very upset. Ouch! Y'all know y'all car go over a bump, like, don't that shit hurt? Like, I'm. I need to stop cursing. Don't that stuff hurt? Like when you go, when your car go over a bump. Oh, the pop is right here. Just having a meeting. days in a row asking for the sugar from Danish, but I came super late, like, boy, well, each time I came around 2 o'clock, this time it's like 12 something, so hopefully they have it today, because how y'all gonna be provoking the sugar from Danish, how y'all thinking y'all never had it? Let's go see if they have it today, y'all. Before I go inside, Starbucks, let me show y'all my nails. And they look the same on the other hand. Super cute, super neat. I wanted something like super classy, elegant, and something that can go with winter because we have our engagement photos this month. I didn't want to do nothing like super extra or nothing like that. But, um, yeah, thank you, Miss Tiff, for coming in and giving me a go. Right? Like always, shape is on point, everything. Okay. I said nothing less. Period. Have any sugar plum Danish cheese Danishes today? Uh, I might. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I just get a uh, venti caramel frappuccino? Okay. Extra caramel drizzle. Extra caramel syrup or extra caramel drizzle? Extra caramel drizzle. Drizzle. And that'll be it. Okay. Okay, so I'm super annoyed. My third day in a row. in a row trying to get this sugar plum cheese danish from starbucks and they still don't have it i came early and everything and they still don't have it now if that's not annoying i don't know what the freak is it's like how oh, y'all yeah, don't have the sugar plum danish and y'all have it on the big thing like i guess like you know how when they try to promote something they have a picture of it up there. Why do y'all have a picture of it? I need y'all to take this shit out because that's false advertisements. I don't want up there three days in a row. And y'all don't have it. At this point, I'm gonna need y'all to take it for a sign down. Either y'all don't have it or I'm just always missing it. But today I went early. It's 12.30. Babe, 
they don't have it. But anyway, your girl's back in action. I got my nails on. Looks like should have got my eyebrows done, but I didn't. Should have got a winner, but I did this. Okay. The nails, the price was one ten. I tipped her forty, so total audience was one fifty, which is not bad because I usually pay one sixty just for the nails. You know, and that's not including the tip. And then that's not including, sometimes I do my toes with my nails. So, yeah, so I feel like 150 altogether is not bad with including the tip. And I really just want to show love to her because she really just came in to do my nails. She just came in to do my nails. So, I really just want to show love to her. Super quick today. My appointment was at 10. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me go in this way. Hi, yes. Can I get three super tacos and a super burrito, please? What else? That'll be it. $14.79. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, my nails. Yeah, so I feel like that's not bad because I usually pay $160 just for my nails alone on top of the two. And like I said, I really gave her four dollars because she did my nails in like an hour and a half. Yeah, I got there at ten thirty. I got there at ten thirty. No, it took her two hours. It took her two hours. Whatever. So I just I took her four dollars because you know she took like two and a half hours to do my nails. So. Hi. Yes, please. <clears throat> Yeah, so yeah, this is 110. And then um, I took her $40 on top of that. I didn't do my toes, didn't do my eyebrows. Probably gonna do my eyebrows tomorrow because it looks really, really, really hairy. Okay, so now Bay wants a Red Bull. So I have to stop to the gas station to get him a Red Bull. Uh, and then I'm going to chill until I got to work later, edit these videos for you guys. So I can have content to post on my YouTube channel. And yeah. Um. 
Like I said, I picked up the shirt today because, um, you know, we're going on a trip and I need all the funds I can get uh, just to make sure we straight and make sure I can get everybody gifts and stuff like that. And yada, yada, yada. But, um, I gotta get, I don't need, I don't need gas. I need this Red Bull. That's what I need. But, um, yeah, so, what I gotta do today? Today, I have to go to work. Later today at four, I picked up the shift. I was off today. So, that's why I have made my nail appointment today. But, I think, thank God I made my nail appointment early. So, I can get in and get out. Cause what I'm not gonna do is go to work with my nails busted and disgusted. Now I will go to work with my nail glue back on. I don't mind doing that. But when one missing, when one missing, one is off, you know, they all need to come off and I need a whole new set. But, um, yeah, so, I got work later. I gotta get this, get in this store and get this Red Bull. Go home. I'm gonna edit these videos for you guys. And, um, since I reached 100K subscribers, I do want to do a giveaway. I'm probably going to give away one of my Nova Magic sets with the lip gloss, the lashes, the lip scrub like give away one of everything uh, one of one of each of my items to one of you babes so um stay tuned for more information on uh, a giveaway soon i keep talking about having a giveaway so um i'm gonna put it together i'm gonna release information out about how you can um enter into the giveaway and you know the time frames of when it will start when it will end and all of that good stuff and when i'll be announcing it and all that good stuff so stay tuned look look forward to that um i already gave y'all updates on the wedding planning like i said we have two venues we have to look at um this month i keep saying next month but it, it, december is now here so we have two venues we have to look at this month one on the 26th one on the 27th and um like i said i was I'm, I'm gonna try to vlog um how the venue look and stuff like that um so i'm super excited i mean like i said i've never been married before so i'm just really excited i'm really excited to um go wedding dress shopping um, I'm gonna take y'all with me wedding dress shop and hopefully we can do that this month I'm trying to get my mom and my sister to come out here because I'm in Dallas. They're in Houston So I'm trying to get them to come out here the weekend before Christmas because of course during Christmas we're gonna be in Vegas So I'm trying to get them to come out here the week before Christmas so we can you know spend our, our, our I guess a pre Christmas like i guess us celebrate christmas together before christmas and um they come with me wedding dress shopping so we can all go together and do that so yeah trying to get them to do that but we're gonna see everybody's working everybody's busy I'm trying to get on everybody's schedule i still have to ask i still have to pro do a bridal proposal to three uh Three more of my ladies. So hopefully um, when they receive their box, I they say yes. And, you know, they will accept being in my wedding. Um, you know, I'd love to have them by my side. Um, yeah, so these people, pretty much, I've been knowing these people pretty much my almost my whole entire life. So I would love for them to be in my wedding, be there on my big day. So, yeah, like... I'm super excited. Um, what else we have going on? Oh, I got, oh yeah. 
engagement photos coming up soon. So I'm gonna try to vlog that. I try to do a photo shoot of my cousin, Merrick's, and you know, he's super popping, he's super big, you know, shooting with shooting pictures of Kanye and Quavo now. So really gotta squeeze, you know. Cuzzo, please squeeze in some time for little old me. Um, but I am super proud of him. Congrats, cuz, cause I mean he really picked up the lens and never put it down and been going up since. So I'm super proud of him. I'm super proud of everybody in my family. They're doing big things. Everybody doing big things. But, um. Yeah, guys. So this month is super busy. On top of trying to get Noah Magic together for my three year anniversary i want to do a photo shoot i wanted to i want to do a business shower i'm trying to decide where i would do it at if i would do it in houston or vegas i think i should do it houston and vegas my dumb houston Atlanta, vegas houston Atlanta, vegas no either houston or dallas not no vegas houston or dallas but i really feel like i really want to have it in dallas because i'm in dallas but I have a lot of supporters in Houston. Like, my biggest supporters are in Houston when it comes to my brand. Not even on because my family out there. Not even because I'm from there. But, like, the people who have shopped with me the most have come from Houston and Louisiana. Those are my two top biggest southern states, Houston and Louisiana. New York is number three. So, yeah, it's Houston, Louisiana, and then New York is number three. So that is why I would want to do it in Houston because the business wise, my name is bigger there. But I would but I feel like I need to build my name where I'm at right now, which is in Dallas. Because it could be a big boost that I'm from Houston. People know me in Houston why they support me as well. So I wanna have a name out here in Dallas where I'm at as well. I wanna have a name for myself, period. Like I want I would love to be at even though I don't, I'm not a attention seeking person. Seeking person. If I was to be notarized for anything, I would want to be notarized wherever I'm at. Like, oh, that's Tara Jache. That's Tara Jache. Mm. Like, y'all, how did? Oh my goodness, how did this get all over me? All right, let me go get this variable so I can go home and eat and get ready for it. But yeah, I want notoriety. Notoriety. I cannot talk. I want to be noticed wherever I go, wherever I'm at. Period. Plain blank. If I'm at the mall, if I'm at the store, like I would want people to be like, "Oh, that's Tara Just like, like I wouldn't want to just be known, you know, in Houston, in Dallas. Like people just know me locally. Like I want to be known globally, if possible. Like, I want people to know me all over the world. And that is exactly why I want to get the confidence to continue to do YouTube. Because it opens the door for you to be be who you want to be in front of millions or millions of people. It, it gives you the chance to reach whoever you want to reach. So, I hope whoever sees this video, you know, I just hope y'all grow with me. And we can all grow together. Like, I don't want to be a stagnant person in this world where everything just stay the same like i always want to continue to grow whatever i'm doing whether it's my business and my marriage my relationships like anything i always want to keep elevating keep my friendships everything i want everything to keep growing everything to keep getting bigger everything to keep getting better so you know it ain't no stop it ain't no ending to this it's 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 the marathon continues period so yeah i just want to get better at everything i hope my vlogs are getting better for you guys i hope y'all enjoy them i am starting to fall in love with enjoy making them and talking to you guys and like really finding my flow in this community because it is a community and you do have to find your place it, to, I, to, to be honest I don't feel like YouTube is a saturated place I just feel like you gotta find your flow and you gotta find your people like it's nothing in this world is over, too oversaturated you just gotta find your flow and your um people will follow 
so I'm just I'm just finding my flow right now find finding my audience and then you know my people will flock to me I just feel like you got to continue to be yourself continue to be your authentic true true you true to, true to who you are and the right people will find you the right people will follow you I feel like if you come on YouTube trying to pretend and act like you this always positive person and you just do, do 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 you have to keep that act up all the time like when i come on here like i'm not always done up when i come on here i'm not always in the most upbeat attitude or whatever i'm just coming on here talking to y'all like how like if y'all was in the room with me right now and I feel like that would that's gonna help me grow because people gonna know like oh she's she's really being herself like she don't she's not faking she's not trying to pretend and be something she's not like if you was to meet me right now like this is how I'll be talking to you. And if you if you if you bump with it you bump with it we can bump with each other and if if not then that's that's totally okay like I'm okay with everybody not liking me and that's okay like you're not gonna be liked by everybody and that should be okay you know everybody not gonna like you and that's fine just find the people that do and appreciate the people that do like you for who you are especially that's another thing like if people don't like you and you are being your true self then that is a testament to them not nothing on you you doing you you're fine nothing is wrong with you nothing is wrong with you because they don't like you nothing is wrong with you because i used to think if somebody don't like me and i'm being myself like is something wrong with me do i need to change how i am no you don't need to change nothing because somebody else don't like you because they don't like you for being you that is on them that sounds like a personal problem personal issues something that they need to deal with and go through with themselves but you 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 have nothing is wrong with you for being you and doing you and being completely 100 percent yourself all the time you know, I really used to try to change myself because people didn't like me because maybe I was too quiet or I wasn't talkative enough or, you know, maybe my, my RBF face was just, you know, too hard or whatever. And, and I'm like, maybe let me soften up or let me, you know, do something, be something that I'm not, which is a talkative, a over talkative person. Well, to people, I over talk to y'all all the time. But it's like around people, I'm not I'm not that person because I don't like all the attention on me. People start asking questions and stuff like that. So I'm not that. And it's like every time I get out of alignment with who I am, it's like bad stuff happens. So that's why I don't get out of alignment with who I am and, and the things that I want and the things that are 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 of me. You know. People will talk about, oh, why you always get your nails on this ghetto? How you wipe your butt? This, this, and that, and all stuff like that. But, but it's it's me, and I'm not gonna change because somebody else don't like it or don't get it or don't understand. It's not for you to understand. You're not me, and and God didn't make you me for a reason. Cause you wouldn't be able to handle the sh that I'm going through. Okay, He built these shoes specifically for me to walk in. Okay. The shoes you got are your size to fit you and your situations. My shoes fit me and my situations. It is what it is. But...